Oh, hello there. Oh, hello. Just brought the um, the five panel and the and the shades, just in case it does get a bit sunny. I feel you like never know, I feel like I'm on my holidays. The weather's changing every every minute. I know. Um, where do we start? Standard Mackey D's, right? Mackey D's, Let's yes, do it. please. How long we got, driver? 74 miles. 74 miles, what's that, about an hour and 15? Yep. Is that exactly it? It gets us in at 9.15, so just over. Gary. Welcome to Fresh Fishing, guys. I'm Wayne. And I'm Foxy. And today we are Actually, on... we're Max and Paddy. <laughs> in the van. In the van. Matching, uh, matching jumpers. Yeah. Nah, today we are... Um, we're on our way to Trent View Fishery. We've got uh, we've got a 48 hour session planned, um, and to be honest with you, this was supposed to be um, UK blanks, but because he decided to not strap up and have another uh, child. Yeah, because he decided to have a kid, we we had to kind of slimline it. We couldn't do. Yeah, um, we wanted to do like four nights like we did last time, didn't we? But yeah. Yeah, we've had to we've had to cut that down. So basically what had happened is we'd already booked Trent View as like it was gonna be the last venue on UK Blanks. Yeah. And we'd already booked and paid for it. So my missus was a bit like, you can't be going away for four nights just after we've we've basically got like a an eight week old baby. And I was like, Yeah, that's pretty fair. I was like, But I've already booked Trent View, so can I still go to that? <laughs> so here we are. Yeah, so we're on our way to Trent View. Um and we've got a little guest waiting for us when we get there. Well, we've got we? a little guest here as well. Oh yeah. Can you see? We've got the real boy. What, what, what should we call him? Floyd. Floyd, the fresh fishing dog. Money Mayweather. Money. <laughs> He's actually named after Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank. Oh, Jimmy. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, yeah. So we've got we've got Floyd with us. Um, it's just another way for Foxy to to sweeten up his misses. Yeah, it was. It was just like one less thing for her to worry about. I'll take the dog. So, but yeah, we've got um, we've got Jamie meeting us at Trent View. Um, some of you will remember Jamie from. Well, he was on UK Blanks. He was on UK Blanks. Um, well, he was on the. He was on Todd the Toddington video, um, the second part of, of UK Blanks, and he was at France with us. So, Jamie was actually we met him through. He was a subscriber on the channel, um, and uh, yeah. He, he, we, we needed kind of, someone from France, didn't we? We, need, so we, we needed some people from stuff. France, yeah, we put it out on social. Jamie got back to us and uh, Top Lad, so he'll be meeting us down there today. Um, so, yeah, on our way. Anything to add? Well, we're fishing a double peg, so we're in, we're going to be in peg 16 and 17, I think it is. So, at Trent View, you can only book the double pegs. Um, all the other pegs is just turn up and see what's available, kind of thing. Yeah. Um, so, we're in that peg. Um, obviously, we've fishing like double pegs and like when we tend to do these trips we tend to share rods um yeah so it's we, been a while as well since we actually shared rods isn't it it's yeah been, it's been a good while france would have been lots of rods would have been, yeah. Jeez. yeah so so we've decided that we're going to do that again and for anyone that's new that's watching this or that doesn't quite get why we share rods it's it's kind of like like the social aspect of it like in fact, I was listening to a podcast the other day, a Nash Tackle podcast, uh, and it had Bonesy from Trap Run, and, it, and he was basically saying he would rather go, like, go to France, let's say, and everyone catch, and him help people catch, or even like catch a, 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 a fish on his rod, than him go to France and haul, like, catch everything and no one catch anything. Yeah, much because better. you get the social aspect of it, and you you get to share that joy like yeah i love photographing wayne with fish and vice versa he just loves like, photographing me anyway yeah, let's be honest naked naked um, no but it's, it's it's just if like i know some people probably won't get the whole rod sharing thing but it's just, it's literally just the social aspect of it. it's, like, a, it's a way of us making sure that listen, we're, we're coming away on a, on a fishing trip for a, for a couple of days we want to both catch we want to both make sure that each other catches so like we have our own little tactics with regards to sharing rods so you know we we decide how we're gonna how we're gonna rig up yeah. together. We decide where the, the spots are gonna be together yeah. for all six rods. We decide what bait's going on there together. It's literally it's a proper team. It's effort, a proper isn't team it? effort. So when that rod does go, it's not like someone else placed that rod there, etc. You know, yeah. Like you both had a part to play in it. Yeah. So you know, definitely. It it just makes things fair. And like I say, we we just always want to make sure that each other catches it would be rubbish if, if if we came here 
Foxy had, you know, six or seven fish or even two or three, and I had none, yeah. and vice versa. So yeah, that's why we do it. Yeah, that's why so we do people it. probably know a lot about Trendview anyway. Like um, the, the, I think the record cap is a forty-five pounder. Yeah. So absolute unit of a fish. I think there's quite a few thirties. I want to say there's about thirty thirties, something like that. Um, loads of twenties. So my UK PB is only twenty pounds. So there's a good chance Jeez. that we get to something I can. You I can, are gonna break your UK I can break PB. A PB. Um, but there's two thousand fish, and I think it's about twenty-two to twenty-five acres. So it's a big old piece of water, and it's very deep. Um, yeah. Speaking of deep, I've got a deeper, so we're gonna use that when we get there. First yes. time using it. Um, thought we'd just give it a try and see see what the fuss is about. Yeah, well, I suppose like. It's a new water, isn't it? So we, we don't really know anything we about often, it. We often go to new waters and it's good to be able to just turn up with a deeper, chuck it in and see what the crack is quite quickly. Um, so you can just maximise your time, can't you? Yeah, it, uh, exactly. A lot of exactly. people are using it nowadays, so. So yeah, let's, um, we've got probably about another hour to go Yeah. Um, until we get there. Um, buzzing, man, exciting. How are you feeling? Cannot wait, mate, cannot wait. It's been ages since that we've actually been in the van going away on a fishing trip for like 48 hours plus so yeah. yeah i'm excited very excited sweet let's get the show on the road and uh we'll see you again when we get there Plan is we're gonna get a couple of rods out, aren't we? Yeah. Just, just uh, one each on the trusty Mega Methods, Mega Method feeder. Just throw them out there, just so we're fishing, right? Yep. Whilst we see um, if we can nick a bite. Whilst we um, get the other four rods going. Bosh. Yeah. Floyd, stop it. This dog's gonna be <laughs> me off all weekend. <laughs> Money Mayweather over there. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so we're going to get the two method feeder rods out, mega methods, and then we're going to set up two rods on a um, adjustable zig. We've heard that's uh, pretty good over here. You may have just seen a fish bosh or come out there behind Foxy. I just saw it. Yeah, we're seeing them bosh out quite a bit. I mean, the, there were two lads fishing here um, that's just left this morning. Uh, blank their tits off, didn't blank they? Blank their tits off on a 48 and in this peg, yeah. But we've seen loads. I've seen loads boshing. I mean, how can you see loads boshing and, and not get into any? And we've got better bait than them. We've got better Parker bait than them. Exactly. Fresher. So, Freshest bait in the game, fam. Yeah, mate. So let's get these out and we're going to do a bit of deeping, aren't we? We've got the deeper. We're going to get that out we're and gonna... spec out the swim, see what's going on. We're going to play about with that. And then... Uh, then we'll have to get the bivvies and all that up. Bivvies up, yeah. So... In a bit. Dog. Fish in, one rod out each. Is that relief? <laughs> right, let's uh, now we've got two rods out. Let's get the deeper on the go. First time using the deeper on the boat. Let's see what we're working with out here. You can see the boat on here. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Oh, there. There is the boat, ladies and gents. 
to have a look at what's going on underneath. There's one fish. But you can see like there's no weed there. Looks pretty good in terms of the weed. We are zig -a -a zig -a -zig -a. So uh, yeah, we just thought we'd show you our zigs because we're so proud of them. I actually feel like a professional fisherman. We haven't really used zigs that much before. Well, not adjustable ones. Yeah, not adjustable. So um, we've got... We've gone with like a pop-up setup on a, on a zig, yeah. basically. So it's almost like a Ronnie rig. Uh-huh. With a little uh, stopper and a bait screw. Aye. On it. it what is it? It's, it's a size eight. Size eight hook. Uh, and you're, you're allowed to do um, micro barbed here, aren't you? You are. So, so we've you, gone for it. It's pretty close. Um, then we've got three foot zig line. Three foot zig line onto our adjustable float zig float. Yeah. There. Um, obviously, an attached star. Robbo's lead. Robbo. Big happy, Rob. Happy birthday, Robbo. I'm so it's his birthday. Today. Is it? Many happy returns. Um, so yeah, we've got um, we've got kind of like a few different tactics going on same one here yeah no we've got, we have, we've we've got, got a few different tactics going on so as you know one rod each is um we're, we're going for just the, the mega method um another rod is lead clip boated out boilies with boilies quite a few boilies and yeah a ton of bait basically uh, and these ones are just going to go out probably halfway between kind of where I we're mean seeing them show quite a bit aren't we like we're probably about I'd say about I mean 10 foot rods probably about 15 16 wraps would you say yeah um not even that sometimes yeah some are showing a bit closer in. some are showing closer in yeah and then these ones we're just going to pop out kind of probably halfway aren't we well yeah. I suppose wherever we can cast them to we and can. the best thing we can do is we can use the where are they these bad boys and Pop it, pop it on the float and then hook that into it so we know it's not going to get tangled. Anti tangle? Yep. Let's do it. Let's get these out. He's in. The boy is in. Get in. Get in. He was just phoning his dad oh, and he had to the, hang up. I've just put the phone down on him. <laughs> Mate, that's so bad because obviously, like, yeah. Granddad yeah, just his, passed his dad's away. His dad's just had some bad news, so. Granddad passed away last night, so I was just giving my dad a call, but the rod went. <laughs> that's so bad. What am I to do? I said, Dad, I'm in, I've got to go. <laughs> I've got to go. This is like proper crossing lines. He'll understand. Of course he will. He used to go fishing. I need for it to come out from down there. Does it feel good? It was alright. Let me know if you need your line sorting out. Yeah, I'm not sure yet. Uh, no, it's probably just like a little one. A mid double, maybe. Watch these lines there. It's gonna go in this weed now. That looks alright. It's like a mid double, doesn't it? Mate. It's the first one to sesh, you got to be buzzing. Yeah. Get in, are you in? Yeah. Get in there, mate. Come on! <laughs> Common, that's a nice good guy. <laughs> Coming as well, isn't it? You like that, Floyd? Get it, Floyd. Oh, well, mate, you will. <laughs> yes! I don't know. That is bland. That's a mirror. Is that a mirror? It's a fully scaled. 
belting fish that. Let's get away. Ladies and gentlemen. Lloyd, leave Lloyd, it. Lloyd, get yourself away. In your bed. Believe it or not, this has weighed in at £12. It does look a lot bigger, to it be honest. Way bigger. I thought it was at least kind of 15 Um But listen, it's the first Trent View carp for the fresh fishing lads. So we would definitely take it. Initially, we did think it was a common as well. But getting yeah. it out, it looks like a fully scaled, fully scaled mirror. Great start. Lovely colours. Love that beautiful darkness in it. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Buzzing. First one going back. This one's just absolutely dying. Nutty. Yeah. In that weed. And she's off. Get, Get up, in. Son. Get up. Right. So the beauty about rod sharing is we've got one in early. Yep. We are now what we've got. How many hours have we been fishing? An hour, if that? Probably properly, yeah. With all three rods on. Next is yours. We've got, well, five rods right now. Let's get that one back. Yeah. Yes. Get in. Shit. What's this one off? Uh, this is method feeder. Going like a steam train. Mate, isn't it? Don't even know where it is at the minute. Yeah. Looks like it's just changed direction completely. This is the problem about this swim. I feel like you're going to cross the lines quite a bit. I feel like it's coming to the middle here, isn't it? Any good, Fox? Feels all right. So I um, obviously sorted that fish out. Ended up getting onto the, on the phone to my dad. His rod rips off. Oh mate, good old Jay, good old Jay. Filming skills. Where's the net? Because we had a little knock on the we had a little knock on that zig there, Jay. So we um, so get in there. <laughs> Yes. And that one is a common. That, I don't know actually. Is no, it? That is yeah, that common. is a common. That definitely is a common. Oh man, that ripped round, didn't it? Yeah. Get in there. Are we cleaning up? Boxing? What a start. Are we cleaning up? So far. Come on. Two boys in there blank before. <laughs> <laughs> We're using all the, all the bait that they put out at seven o'clock this yeah, morning. Yeah, no, it's Parker Bait's doing the trick now. <laughs> Right, class. Right, we've got three rods to sort out now. Fish number two, baby. And that one was um, oh, from mate, kind of around is... the margin area, wasn't it? Yeah. <sighs> nice common. Parker Bates. Parker doing Bates trick. doing the biz. That's the fruit and nut. So we've had one off. The, we've had one off, off the fishy, and now we've had one off the fruit and nut. Fruit and nut. Um... Oh, and that's the method finger as well. Yeah, boy. Gerin. Is that a new common PB? That is a new common PB. Floyd, get back. Get in Floyd. your bed. In your bed. That's a new common PB. Seventeen pound three ounces. Yeah. So Take that beats that. your last common PB by one what? pound three ounce. Yeah. Because it was old mill the last one. So you've took your top off for what reason? Because I just wanted to show my little boobies. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh. there you go. Get that. Get in. Nice one. Well done, mate. <laughs> Guess what? What? I'm next. I know. <laughs> Already. Ah, get in. Get in. Yeah, buddy. Your turn next. Yeah, mate. Well, I, do you know what? I wouldn't mind actually having a break and having a beer. I know, yeah, sure. <laughs> Let's have a beer. Yeah. for you anyway Jay. All right. Fresh fishing merch. Look at that bad boy. That is nice. 
That is nice. It's actually the wrong colour, but we won't. Goes with my shorts. Yeah. I think you knew that. <laughs> yeah. Smoky black. I should have ordered jet black, but. Just showing your diversity in uh, in colours that you can provide. Exactly, exactly. So yeah, let me get this on. Then. Are you sure? It's a bit it's hot. hot. Yeah, it's quite warm. A bit hot for it. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It's like size wise, alright. How does it fit? How does it feel? It's comfy. Good quality, to be fair. It is nice. I like it. Like you say, it's what like. What size is that? It's a large. Large. One. large. Well, I thought you know you want to be comfy, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, it does look comfy. You know, you can you can just stay look at the lake like that. You know, if it's raining, just a bit. Yeah. <laughs> the possibilities are endless. slightly not, endless. Not endless, but. <laughs> No, thank you very much. Much appreciated. No worries, mate. Just hopefully I can now... Uh, now you're going to go catch a now fish. Now you're in the team, you'll get one. Now you're going to catch a fish, Jay. <laughs> Wouldn't go that far. <laughs> the heavens have opened. How's it going, the fishing? To be fair, it's actually going pretty f good. Yeah? Yeah. I want more. Yeah, I'm ready for more as well, to be honest. We've had one each. It has been a, it has been a bit slow it's in the been last quiet. hour and a bit, hour yeah. or so. Um, but to be honest, can we grumble? Nah, not like, really. You know, so of course, like this early on a session. We caught, like what, we had one each within the space of two hours, so yeah. we can't grumble. And what what's, what done the biz? Parker Bates. Yeah. That's why we're doing this little piece of the camera. We just wanted to... Just mention that we've recently, you'll have heard like on the channel that we've been using the bait and mentioning it a little bit. And that was because at first Parker Bait sent us a bit of free bait to use. We've been using it. We really like it. Um, mm, it is good stuff. Really good stuff. We, we made a mix here and I popped it open. Um, and the smell was just like, it made me hungry. That's the OG fish one and that smells like chilli and fish and... Oh, loads of goodness. Yeah, it's banging. Um, and then we've got the fruit and nut boilies as well. But yeah, we we just got we just got talking to, to Ben and Tom at, at Parker Brothers. And um, yeah, we decided that we we're going to jump on the, the brand ambassador program with them. So, so that's what we've done. So going forward, we will be using Parker Bakes. And yeah. so far, so good. So far, so good. Two fish bloody already. Good. So bloody um, good. One was on a... A OG fish boilie and he yeah. was on a fruit and nut wafter. Obviously, um, they've got these little added extras yeah. as well. The magic dust. Uh, have we have we used any of these yet? That's in these. Oh, that's in the mix, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so we've like used a bit of the fish sauce, whacked that in. Yeah, so obviously thanks to Parker Bates, the if, lads over there. If you need any bait, make sure you go visit www.parkerbaits.co.uk. Yeah, I mean, we're not plugging them or anything. Nah. <laughs> no, but it is good stuff, and it's if you if you watch any of any of the videos and stuff, it's all. There are other carp bait companies out there, just of like course you. there are, of course <laughs> there are. But this is uh, the freshest bait in the game, but yeah, the freshest YouTube in the game for us. Yeah, for us, I mean these ducks. For us, yeah, we're buzzing with it. Like we've always been DNA lads, and like yeah, I did. I thought it would take quite a bit to to get us away from away DNA. from it, and. Uh, it wasn't that hard for, for, for Parker Bates to do that, really, nah, was it? It's good We've been using it, we've been catching on it, so what else is there to say? Exactly. Give it a try. Cool. Adios. Peace. Hey, you up there? Yeah, man. I'll do that next time. Welcome to Fresh Fishing. Uh, why am I doing an intro? <laughs> Welcome, to Welcome to Cookery Corner. It's my turn this week. Foxy is holding the camera. Um, He's absolutely copped out here. Well, no, because like, I was going to do the barbecue anyway. So I'm like, well, I'm not going to do the barbecue and Cookery no, Corner. No, like, So I was like, right, well, the barbecue will be the Cookery Corner. So we've got a little bucket barbecue that we, we purchased some time ago. Ages ago. And they've never really used. We well, used it once. We used it once on a session that Fox, Foxy messed up the the the, uh, the footage, so we didn't put it out. So we're using it now, and everything here is homemade. Oh. I just wrapped it in Tesco, in Tesco um, yeah. 
packaging. But these, these burgers are not just any old burgers. They're finest. They're, yeah, it would be better if they were Marx's, but it's Tesco's, Tesco's finest. finest good, mate. And they are the sweet one. The sweet one. Four caramelized onion beef burgers. Oh, so on. we're going to get, get them on. And again, I've just wrapped this in Tesco packaging. We've got peri peri chicken steaks. Lovely. Yeah. Lovely stuff. And some pasta salad that Foxy's brought. Yeah, because it's Michael Foxy brought pasta salad. <laughs> so let's get these bad boys on. It's going to take ages to cook. No, it won't. That's roasting hot, that is. They're not burnt. They're, they're just flavour. I yeah. like, yeah. yeah. Like the, the first course. First course cookery corner barbecue. Any Halloween. good, Jay? Yeah, Any good? Loving it, mate. Bang loving him. it. <laughs> yeah, good, man. Yeah. You can't beat anything barbecued is the Everything best. Everything tastes good. You put shit on barbecue, it still tastes good. A bit of yeah. charcoal. Yeah. Those yeah. toasting is done. Burger's going down well. Amazing. And do you know what? Homemade the best. 100%. Because it's homemade. Can't beat anything homemade. Floyd, do it. You'll get a burger in a minute, or a bit of one. <laughs> I, love oh, one. I love that, right on the way for you. Beyonce, get ready for a break. My Second. to set us up for the weekend. And Mimi Webb. Second. Well, well that, the burger was our starter, wasn't it? Huh? Burger was the start. Burger was just the start, yeah. This is the main course. Exactly. What's for dessert? Um, Cider. When you yeah. see how much you're paying for your cider. Car, you'll want to. What sort of cider are you got? Today, uh, it's a fruity one, I don't know. I can't remember what flavour it is. Yeah. Share it out equally. Send your car today dot com. Gary. One of the UK's Gary. Right. Car retailers. We're not recording this one because we're just being lazy, so we're gonna get it down as we'll report back afterwards. Bon Look at that dog, he is in heaven. He's in doggy heaven. We've just set the rods for the night. Um, we've, we've we've kind of like we've said right. So those two rods that we've got that are quite far out, um, we've wrapped them up. So we've chosen to go 17 wraps on it on the 10 footers, um, just so we kind of know where. You know, we're going to start laying down a bed of bait basically. That's exactly what we're going to do. Um, and start hitting that spot, you know, consistently with those two rods. I think we uh, we. We had two fish early, and we didn't really think about it. We were just like, "Oh, we've had one there, and we had one from this corner, yeah, like in the in the margin." And then we were just sat talking, and I was like, "Maybe we should just wrap up because we've got two rods, like mm. basically going up to the same spot, maybe a rod length apart." Mm. So we're thinking, a bit like Drayton, start building a better bait there, and hopefully that will bring them into the yeah. area. Yeah, at least it's it's like two spots that we can feel confident in that you know at least we're. I suppose we're doing something tactical, I guess. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're um, having done that. We're now topping up our bait for potentially through the night or um, next morning. morning. I say topping it up, I mean sort of prepping um, some boilies, etc. Um, making some some more pellet and sorting out the boilie mix for, like I say, in the night or tomorrow morning. So we're going to do that. You right there, mate? You're down there. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna do that, and then um, probably get tucked up in in the bivvies for a bit. We're both knackered. Fox has been up since three o'clock. Haven't you? I have. Um, yeah, I've been up since about six. So not that much sleep. So yeah, early night probably, early morning. Let's That's get at it tomorrow morning again. But hopefully, what we're doing right now will help us for through the night, See right? In the night. Yeah. Cool. For a so, 
I'm I'm Chunk City. I'm sure Foxy will probably have you tuning in to his nighttime probably. I'll movie. Tell, show you what movie I'm watching. Um, but yeah, that's probably it from me. I like to keep my privacy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we'll probably see you in the night, actually. We will see you in the night. Sweet. Ah, uh, nothing doing overnight. Dead. This guy. Look, the sleeping bag's gonna be full of air. Uh, Thanks, mate. Had to be warmer. Waz is up. Pop your head out. There he is. Hello. Hello. You alright? Yeah. It's a shame that nothing was happening in the night. No. Bit shit, in it? We need to make something happen, don't we? We have to liven it up. 17 wraps. Let's go for it. <laughs> it's that time. Nature is calling me. So. Right, I'll show you the toilet. Here we go. Look at the showers. Little shower in there. Box. Let's have a look. I mean, what do you expect for a toilet? We're just uh, resetting the rods in the morning, and now uh, we'll try to get it. But we seem to wake up here in the morning because there's a few boshing out right in front of the swim. What was it? Like. After two ish. Yeah. There was one over there. There was one in the distance. You can hear them all over the lake. Morning, camper. Good morning, gents. We, we've just been filming you sleeping, like. That's all right. What's going on with the socks? <laughs> Essential part of fishing, my friend. <laughs> oh, oh, oh yes. there they are. The supers from France. France. The Supremes, I mean supers. Yes, it is. But, I have a little surprise for you, boys. Come on, what you got? Come on. Got a nice little cup. Mate, literally, we, we was going to leave you sleeping and we was about to walk away. And I was like, Foxy, he's, he slings in the water. Hold on, pal. One off the zig. Good old stream off the Yeah. Oh, nice. Looked like a lever. Yeah, that's one of those lever mirrors, isn't it? Nah. That is nice. I Look. think it's only about. It looks about the 10. same. Nah. Are you joking? It 10. Looks about the same size as your one, Foxy. Yeah, I'd say. Maybe a little mid double bit like. Mid double. Where's he going? <laughs> he thinks he owns a place now. He really he? does. <laughs> Floyd! Oh, he'd be eating that pellet. Floyd! Come here. Oh, we mate, buzzing for you. You've joined the club. I know. The catch club. Finally joined the party. What are you saying? Oh, it's bigger than yours. Nah, no, that's not zero. That's so it's um, 15... 15, 10. 15, 10. 15, 10. Sweet. Mid-double. Yeah. What did I say? Nice one. So what are we saying? What was the weight on that? 15, 10 I believe. Nice 4 o'clock wake up call. But uh, we finally joined the party with the fresh fishing boys. Get in. We've all had one now. Shut up, buddy. Now it's time to bring on the 30s, right? 
Oh. Let's just miss the twenties and, and get a nice little thirty. It's not greedy, is it? Nah. Nah, sod it. Nah. Still yeah. enough time for one more each, I'd say. Yeah. Well, <laughs> at I've least. I've heard a few boshing this morning, so. Yeah. Hopefully they start catching. Nice one, well done, mate. Just smile. On. What do you mean? Like down the middle. We never do that. Do we do? Hardly. Don't do it right now. Why not? Don't do it right now. Why not? Because I'm going to put the bacon in, so... Oh, that's legit. Oh! oh. <laughs> How is it, Jay? Banging? Good. Very good. You're welcome. How out of date is that ketchup? It's not out of date. Let's see the date. <laughs> what is it? First of the first 2022. What's wrong with that? Yeah. Looks a bit <coughs> no, people who people who worry about that shelf life, date life stuff and all that, if it smells all right, just eat it. No. Yeah. No. Brand new brown sauce, thanks. I don't think that's like a philosophy to live. It is. I'm saying it smells like it now. Any good? Oh, the ketchup! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, the boy's in. Screamer again, this left rod. This feels in this like little a, bay. This feels like a bit of fish. Let me just sort the zig one out. Where's the dog? Floyd? I've lost my dog at the minute. Do you want to go get him? No. Keep running off, look at him little bugger. Come here! This feels like a much better fish. Are you running into one of the lines there? Probably. Huh? Probably. Mate. Stay here, Floyd. Feels good, does it? Yeah. Yeah, look, my line's going right over that way. Do you want me to pick it up? Yeah. Because you've got your line as well. Possibly. Might have a few rods to reset here. Should I pick it up? Yeah. Right, let's just sort this. We got there, but we've got three lines tangled up. So we need to sort that mess. Floyd, come away. That margin Floyd. again. Floyd! That margin again, eh? Yeah, boy. Come Should on. Should we sort that other rod out first? This is carnage. This is mayhem. Let's do it. We've got... We had to take a couple of the rods in, so we've now managed to put this one back out in that spot where it's had two. We put the far right one behind this bush with the boat. Zigs are both out. We need to put our main like baited rigs back out, but we need to sort this fish. Oh, look at that! It's a nice fish, isn't it? Chunk City. She's already been unhooked, so we're gonna get her weighed. Where's the weed? Mate, I've got a little hard spot out there. I bet you. Yeah. No, there, <laughs> <laughs> there is. Like, like every time I put it out, yeah. I can feel the dump. Like, literally, just pull it out, mate. and as it went like down, I even saw the end of the rod go. Oh, yeah. Here we go, brother. How Here much? How many pounds? Uh, this one, twenty-three free. Twenty-three pounds. Twenty-three free. So our first twenty out of Trent View. Yeah. So. Hopefully the next one might be a thirty. Well, but hey, mate, if I twenty three, that'd be breaking my PV again. So oh, I'll, it I'll would have been there. Yeah, she is. What a whopper! 
Yes. Absolute whopper. Belter rubbish. That is nice, isn't it? It's nice just get one, isn't it? Because we've been thinking we've been what sat the hell there for doing. a while now, going, "What's going on?" Yeah, and then bang. Similar sort of time to yesterday. Ish. 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 Yeah. So Not far off. Hopefully, let's get these rods back out there. Yeah. Twenty minutes later. Yeah. Could be a repeat of yesterday. That'll do. Well done, mate. Nice. Right, the first twenty. First twenty. For the session. Going back. And away. It's oh. chilling there. What are you doing, Jay? Uh, just a bit of spotting, mate. A bit of spotting. Seen a few fish in the, in the area, about eight, nine wrapped up, so. Give it a go. Thought I'd try and ring the old dinner bell as such. So, these, these seagulls are really enjoying that. Yeah, I think I'm feeding them more than the fish, if I'm honest. But. So with that in mind, hmm. and this is the reason I came over, because I knew you were spotted. And I know where you're going with this. <laughs> Why are you not using your bait boat? Well. Because like this would be a perfect opportunity to use your bait boat. You're okay. trying to get bait out there. The seagulls are getting it now. Yeah. So how can you make sure that that doesn't happen? Bait boat. What have you got? Bait boat. <laughs> yeah, but look. Oh, look at that over there. The, uh, I've learned a little thing now. Look, if you... Uh, you leave the spot out there, they kind of get a bit scared of it. That's true. And then if that you reel in, a ah. few, few sacrifices. I hear what you're saying. But, but, however, yes, you are correct. I have got the, the new. Should we get the bait boat out? For what? To look at it or? No, to, to get your bait out then. I've already finished that now, I'm afraid. <laughs> maybe maybe on the next, next one, yeah. We'll uh, we do a proper review on it at some stage once uh, once I wet in the water for once. <laughs> you funny. <laughs> Didn't expect it. So this is what my, um, i got the old uh, ridge, ridge monkey. It's more of a sort of desk ornament at the moment. Yeah, it looks very clean. It's very fresh, doesn't it? It yeah. goes with... Uh, How long you had it? Two months. Um, have you used it? No. I took it on a boat pond. Oh, to, be, to make sure it worked. Yeah. Has it, has it seen any rigs or bait yet? Nah. No. How many sessions have you done? Oh uh, no, on my on my syndicate RK okay, I can't use bait boats. Ah, so right. it was more of a purchase for France trips and... Uh, right, okay, okay. But you just thought, for the bring, future. It, bring it here just in case you need it. Yeah, yeah. But you don't want to use it. No, nah, no. Nah. <laughs> like I say, it's, it's, it's more of a, a mantelpiece uh, ornament, to be fair. That is nice. I like the way it's got like the face like for the rig. Yeah. And like I say, you've got the old little quick rig system, so you don't have to pump, pump it from underneath. Nice. How much was that? 500. Angling direct. Oh, blimey. 500. 500 just to sit in the car. It's a lot of money. That's where you were going with that, weren't you? Whoa. <laughs> you said it. <laughs> but um, yeah, now nah, the only reason I'm not using it is uh, I'm, I'm eight wraps out and it just doesn't seem really point, point any point to it. Well, I look forward to you using it to send me some beers across the lake in France. That's probably the main priority for <laughs> it. Yeah. <laughs> It was a box, mate. Box. Cheers. Right, welcome to another installment of box. box. It's a box, mate. Let's do it. What's on the menu today? Oh, sorry, Floyd. Uh, Modelo. Modelo. Modelo, and it was chosen by Michael Snaith. Snaith. Yeah. Oh, that looks tasty. That actually does look refreshing. Right, so, Modelo. Modelo is a Mexican birra. It is 4.5%. Mexican birra. Birra, yeah. What are you doing, dog? It does look nice. I even like... Oh, bosh. I even like the, um, the bottle. Yeah. What was that one we had... Um, what was that one we had last week? One that looked like champagne. Yeah. Peroni. Is it a Peroni? Right, where's yeah. the uh, where's the bottle opener? 
hide that stupid leads chart. Like, oh, it smells like a normal dog, though. Yeah, it, does, it? it smells like a pub beer. It smells like a Stella. Mm. Yeah, it does. It does. It doesn't smell as good as it looks. Cheers. Just Cheers. Cheers. That, that is got, nice. Hasn't got a kick of a Stella, has it? No, no it's nice, though, isn't it? Mm. It's nice. I like that. It's quite smooth, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, no like ganky aftertaste mm. or anything like that no yeah. it's very smooth it's quite similar to corona isn't it well mm. when i looked at it i was kind of expecting a, a sort of corona taste mm. very dark it's nice i like it and i ordered this mm. i had to order it actually online i got it from beer sniffers oh did you yeah did you yeah that's nice that very i nice. like it that's a session drink that i isn't? like it michael well played mate well great played, shout michael. Yeah, I could neck loads of them. Yeah. Yeah, it's dead light, isn't it? Yeah. I think it being that cold as well it does help. Yeah. Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Oh. Foxy came up trumps with the ice. Yeah, man. Yeah, I know. That's one thing I didn't have on my to do list. Can you get bigger bottles? Do you reckon? Because <laughs> you could probably get through this really quickly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's three hundred fifty-five mil. What's a normal bottle? Like, well, like we normally have like five hundred mil bottles, don't we? Like the big ones. I don't know. What's that? 330. See? It's a little chunky fat one. Maybe I'm just thirsty, but normally on, on a box, like, I'll have a couple of sips. and oh. It looks like it's going down mm. quite, bright, quite good, doesn't it? Mm. Oh. That, that's, that's up there, that like. It's up there, isn't it? It's proper nice. It is. I'm going in. Go I'm on. giving it a nine. <laughs> I was thinking nine. Yeah. I was genuinely thinking All it nine. needs is for me like to be a ten. Something like this. Exactly the same, but just like a little, you know, like a nice little kick, little flavour, some kick towards the end. The end. Mm. Whereas it, it's, I feel like it's quite flat towards the end, but at the same time, that flatness is still quite nice. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, it is a bit flat towards it, but yeah, like, like you say, it makes it easy to drink. I think that flatness. Yeah. What Great are you, shout. What are you going numbers? I'm torn between an eight or a nine. I don't. I'd probably give it a nine. Yeah. I'd say it's definitely a session drink. Yeah. Barbecue, summer. Yeah, barbecue. Yeah. Be banging and a nice it. bucket. Shame we haven't got more of these. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Budgins. I only bought, I only bought four. Uh -huh. So there is one more. You're having a, having a beer? Go on. Nah. Yeah, that absolutely smashed it. Very good shout. Triple nine. Well done, Michael Snape. Cheers for the suggestion. Get him. Get him. That was a bot. That was a bot. Now, hopefully, we'll catch some more fish. Yeah. My Fo turn next. Fox is up next. Six rods. I think it's going to happen all day long. Fingers Foxy, crossed. you hate me saying stuff like that because he's like, you're like, I know, yeah. Psychology and all that. Yeah, don't. You, don't you ain't going to get f I know, probably. <laughs> Just join the club. Uh, look, he uses that same tactic. Yeah. Nah. Nah, I think we'll catch. We will. We've got a lot of time. Will. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Cheers. <clears throat> yeah, that's a shout, that one. That's a nice bit. I think next time we do a vid, when we should do that Sprite challenge. What's that? Oh, where you don't burp. Barbecue's on the go again. <laughs> Jay's been to the shop and got some goodies. I think, actually... I actually think Jay's done a better job than you for Cookery Corner. Like, if this was Jay's Cookery Corner, he's beat you, mate. Uh? Jay's done a better job than you for Cookery Corner. Nah. Yeah. How can you say that you're f***ing it? Yeah, you Because <laughs> he's got lamb cofters. Foxy. Yeah. What's this, what's this new little palace you're sitting outside of? This is my... What are we doing? Pit my bivvy? Well, yeah. Are we? Let's do it. Okay. So you want to be a player, but your wheels ain't fly. You got to hit us up to get a pimped out bivvy. Bivvy.
this is my new, my second new, well I actually bought it first, but it's my second bivvy, it is the Nash Titan T1. Wait, you are going large these days. It is large. I think it's large anyway. So what happened was, he had his Titan hide, I got mine, and he was like, oh, the Quest is better than the Titan hide. Can't have Wayne I can't have Wayne one. outdoing me, so I'm going to get the Nash T1. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't anything like that. <laughs> what did you say earlier? What? My baby's better than yours. <laughs> he did say that, didn't he? <laughs> he didn't. <laughs> no, but it is really nice. It is, it is really nice. The main feature being in the capsule. Yeah. Like you're in that little dome. Yeah. So obviously, down by your feet. All blocks yeah, off. Yeah, good. No, I don't know why I put that on. And um, of course, it's camo. Of course. You couldn't get just a normal one. And you get quite a bit of space. Like, loads of room for activities. Loads of room for activities. Like, I've even got space here, and I haven't pushed my bed all the way to the end. And the bed goes right back. There's a little bit of space down there. So that'll treat you right for France, really, won't it? That's what exactly it's for. But I got it, and I was like, it's an ag to set up. Well, it's not really an ag. Like, the boys were having a bit of a go at me before. Not go, but they were saying, like, well, it doesn't actually take that long. And it doesn't, but that's why I got the other one. Cause I You're thought, just a tart. Pretty much, but I thought, for quick sessions, the other one can just go up dead quick. It's only got, like, five pegs to put in. Done. What would have been ideal if I kept the Titan hide and then had this as well, but that's too expensive. So not only have you pimped your bivvy, your bivvy is a pimp. It is. And I got myself and a got, new got a new pillow. Tracker pillow. Twenty quid. Because my other one was like massive, it went all the way across the bed. Whereas it's got too much space. Too too much space. This is just nice. Fits right in your head shoulder it's exactly the same as my Westlake one isn't yeah it, to be yeah fair. but i like that's got like two sides yeah like fleece sides probably for the winter that one's if you summer and it's a bit hot nice so that's my hole but yeah i guess obviously we will do a review video on this even though there's probably hundreds out there already yeah we will we'll have a look at it in a bit more detail it is sexy we though. were gonna film it this weekend but that's not gonna happen it is sexy we're too like having seen it in the flesh for me it does. It, it is better than the Frontier. You reckon? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the new Frontier does have a capsule. Does it? Yeah. Oh, that might be a game changer then. Yeah. The new Frontier does. So, but yeah. You don't have that, do you? The sesh. No. Why, why would I have anything? Don't need it. I've got everything I need. <laughs> Jay, you got anything? Nah. Nah got everything you need already right it's just i'll use it till it's broke yeah don't change it for, for, for no reason nah, not it's broke, don't fix it don't feel i it. change it because i've got a <laughs> channel on youtube and i've got a bloody <laughs> thing called pimp my bivy where i've got to buy a new <laughs> i think i think you've got a bit uh a bit upset that wayne <laughs> no no <laughs> well, i'm pretty sure that's what it feels like don't wind him up Jay. oh <laughs> make my dinner bitch <laughs> This is how I get treated, like, it's the only reason I'm here, literally. <laughs> Proper out of feeling there. That was Pimp My Bivvy. <laughs> Where's my cap? Under your bed. Know. Is it? Yeah. No, not that one. I brought two cups. Oh, you was wearing a different one today, weren't yeah. you? Yeah. I'll find it. That was Pimp My Bivvy. Goodbye. Does anyone else feel the same, of me, the same as me? Love being in the bivy when it's peeing down with rain. Just had food. Perfect timing, really. Just finished eating up and starts peeing down. So we're all in the bivy.
Riley partner. What are we saying? I'm just literally standing here thinking, um, you know, like always, you know, like you're always asking yourself those questions, like, have we put enough bait out? Like, did I feel that donk enough when I just when we just dropped it there? Like, because obviously, yeah, we're about. Sorry, I'm eating sweets. Because obviously we're about to supplied by yours truly. We're about to settle for the night. Yeah. Obviously the the rods are placed. Yeah. So now like they're they're about to be there for a good while. Yeah. So you just like question. You you constantly question everything you do really, don't you, all the time? But because uh-huh. obviously now a long period of time. But hopefully it's it not. where it is now. Yeah, exactly. Hopefully. You said we'd get a bite break. I know this half is nine and exactly. And this is probably what time it is, right? 9.29. Exactly. So, so, come on, Rods. I'm fretting. That's why. Come on, Rods. Oh. But yeah, we're probably going to settle into the bivvy shortly. Floyd's already uh, Floyd's already settled in. There he is. Just in that. Nice night, though. Mm. And you know what? There, there has been more fish kind of boshing tonight compared than to last night. You're right. Yeah, I've seen quite a few. Like, but like really far out. Yeah. Well, we've got this rod here. Uh, it's kind of like short, but then this one over here is right out long. So we've covered short and long. And then obviously we've got this one on the left, which is in the same spot where it's done two bites already. So uh, if we had to pick one that we're most confident in, it'd probably be that. But we shall wait and see. It is, yeah. It's a really peaceful, calm night. That's what I've noticed here, though. In the day, the water's really choppy. And yeah, on the it night, it's, it's been really calm. It's dead nice. Lovely, lovely view. I actually said last night we said um, that I was going to put a movie on and then I'd show people the movie. All right. Didn't do it. Did you not? Didn't do it. Why? I, well, I put that jackass on, but it wasn't jackass. A documentary. It was a bloody documentary about them talking oh, about right. jackass 4, not actually jackass 4. So uh, I might watch something tonight, but I don't think I've got anything decent. So I just went in my bivvy last night. And it laid on the bed, and I was just looking out at the water um, for a good hour. I didn't even watch any TV or anything. No. I just fell asleep, yeah. Nice. I might do the same tonight, just look out. Mm. But, um, yeah. We it will... will happen. We will get that one more fish that we crave. Fingers crossed. Fingers See you crossed. in a bit, hopefully. See you in a bit. I thought I'd watch this thing on Netflix called Snowflake Mountain. What a load of absolute At least doesn't seem too far. Like we it's might be able to just wait out and post the Do a quick swim. Grab what we need to get out of here. Can't wipe their They're asses. They're not hard things to do, but if they don't the them, it's actually quite funny because they, they all just struggle. Why am I so overly so, wet? I think I'm going to turn it off and get asleep. Alright, man, you got to see this. And I hope we'll you feel like. Oh, oh. It's cold. Morning peeps, nothing for the night, just stick my hair, um, yeah nothing for the night, put a load of bait on last night before we'd done loads of the rods but through the night this, seem, this place just seems to not do much, obviously Jamie had one but I was on a zig so, the little man's having his breakfast. Wayne's still in bed, it's uh, 7, we've got to be off the peg by half 9, so a bit of time yet, but I'm going to start slowly packing down, obviously the buds will be the last thing to come out, so hopeful that we can nick, nick a bite in the last last couple of hours, but we shall see. So this, this is uh, Jamie's stuff, getting ready to pack up and go. He's literally a psycho killer. He's literally a psycho killer. Yeah. 
A psycho killer. Normal people don't do this. Do they win? No, definitely not. You wouldn't catch me doing that. <laughs> definitely wouldn't catch you doing that. <laughs> <sighs> what a view though, what a view. Just need that uh, one of them rods to bend round. Well, the pack up is well and truly underway. It is on. Bivvy's, my Bivvy's down, Wayne's is almost down. Everything's at the back of their van. Floyd's chilling. And uh, yeah, we've got 45 minutes left on the peg. So obviously the rods are going to be last thing out. But we shall see. It's looking bleak, it but is it, looking there's bleak. still time. You never, never know. Never take the rods out before you have to. No. Come on, carp dods. Do as this solid. That is a wrap folks, we are out of here. Thanks for coming Jay. Much appreciated lads again, thank you very much. Yeah, we will see you at Drayton. Where we will uh, have it off. Definitely. Drayton September, yeah? September. Me and Wayne have got a new team target. 40 fish, we're going to try and double the 20 that we got last time. Really? Bosses. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll see. That means we are not going to be sleeping for 48 hours. Pretty much. Last time we, we drew rods in, didn't we? And what early? that means is we're going to be sleeping throughout the day. Pretty, Pretty much what you do now, Jay. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a bad tactic. <laughs> but now, nah, looking forward to it. Be uh, be good to get up there. Yeah, definitely. And then France after that. Oh. Francais. We've got it all coming up, haven't we? Yeah, man. Summer's going to be good. Even though France yeah. is like autumn already, isn't it? Thank yeah. You. First of October. But they should be on the munch then, shouldn't they? Yeah, hopefully getting fed up for winter. For winter, so. But yeah, again, much appreciated, lads. And yeah, uh, good to have you. Thanks for the jump up. Oh, yeah, yes. yeah. Repping the merch. Get on it. You're in. Right, Foxy, what are you saying? I am saying successful trip. Yeah, session done, 48 done. And it is successful. Like, to be honest with you, it would have been, you know, we wanted more. You always want more, don't you? Always. Oh, I have to hold this. Yeah, obviously we wanted more. We wanted to get that that two each, but um, it just didn't happen. Like we were saying, weren't we? The bikes come around, or our bikes tended to come around between eleven and like one. Yeah. So yeah, had we been staying for the afternoon, we probably could have gotten a probably would have got into another one at least. I reckon. I feel very confident of that. But, I mean, we can't grumble, as I was just saying to Foxy, we've been on 48-hour sessions before. Uh, one sticks to mind, which was at Tees Valley, 48, on um, Eagle Lake, and neither of us caught. We banked our tits off for 48. So to come to a new water that we've never fished before, have three yeah. out of it. And a big old water at that. Yeah, 25, 22 acres, something like that. Like. So, you know, we, we've got to be happy with that. Um and I actually really, really like the venue. I think it was really nice. Like pegs were clean. Yeah. Fish are clean. Like the fish, fish are really were, nice looking. The fish that we did catch were, were really, really nice looking fish. In really good condition. Exactly. Like not beating up mouths or anything. Exactly. And you know, loads of people were having it off um, uh, around the lake, or you know, having some good catch rates. So we should say as well, uh, we met Elliot this morning, one of our subscribers. Oh yeah. Yeah, one of our subs, Elliot, he was um, he was fishing the lake and he came round. I think Foxy was speaking to him uh, before we, we came and he came round to said hello, which was really nice. Yeah. Um, give us a little present that we will reveal on the next session. Yeah. So that was nice of him. Cheers, Elliot. Appreciate yeah, thanks, it. Yeah, thanks, mate. But uh, yeah, all in all, I'm, I'm chuffed to bits with it. I've been like, you know, dying to get to that place for ages now. I've been mentioning it to Foxy for ages. Yeah. Um, it hasn't let us down. I think that we can go back there, you know, I suppose that peg, we, we know that water now. Yeah. Uh, or, you know. Would we, we go back, if we went back, would we go on a different peg? We though? would go on a different peg for sure. Yeah. For sure. I would say so. Definitely. Um, but no, all in all, definitely can't grumble. Nah. 
I'm well happy with it. I'm like, yeah, like it. Would have loved another one, and it's more just because obviously I, I want to break that twenty pound mark in England. Yeah, but it'll come. It'll yeah. come. I know it's almost like it's like not letting you have it because had we not have shared rods, obviously the outcome would have been the same. We would have got three fish. Foxy would have had two of them. I would have had one. And Foxy would have broke his, uh, PB, his, but his, his UK PB. That's, but that's the thing about sharing rods. And we, we, you know it. You sacrifice it. that, it's, don't you? Yeah. And it's all, it's all luck anyway, you know. Like yeah. catching the fish is luck. So, yeah. It's, it is what it is. Yeah. It'll happen. It'll happen eventually. The, the longer it goes on me not breaking that twenty pound, the more it'll mean when it does happen. Yeah, the sweeter it'll be when it happens. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, but little shout out to Parker Bates as well. Obviously, really like used it on this session and went in hard with using it. And it, uh, yeah, and it, it paid off. Proud. Paid off, didn't it? Yeah, all the fish we caught were on Parker Bates. So uh -huh. um, yeah. yeah, it certainly does the job. Definitely, the the fish in trend view and having that. So. Um, yeah, we'll sign off now, guys. Obviously, the next one um, is going to be the social, the fresh fishing social. Yeah. Whoops. Whoopsie daisy. Um, so, obviously, it'd be great if you can jump onto the social and join us for that. Uh, I think there's still, well, as we speak, there's about 17 pegs still left yeah. out of 37. Yeah. So, by the time this goes out, hopefully they'll all be gone. Yeah. But, um, yeah. If, 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 if they aren't and there's still tickets available on the site, jump on it. Yeah, it's we'll be let, lovely to see you. We'll let you know. We're anyway. doing a video, so you're featuring that video, and we've got a few prizes to give away for yeah. um, some different little trophies. I mean, socials that. are just nice anyway, aren't they? Yeah, it's good to meet everyone, isn't just it? Just to so. get out and yeah, you make like you, you know, you make loads of uh, friends on on the bank when you're fishing anyway. So yeah, and Come also along. if you're on the site, why not grab yourself a buddy? Yeah, and if you uh, if you. We, we've had a few messages actually over the last couple of days um, saying where can we get the merch from um, www.freshfishing.co.uk jump on um, there's some uh, there's some garments on there for you to um, purchase yeah um, but yeah until the next one guys which is obviously the social we'll see you then yeah thanks for watching guys so if you like the video click that like button um, obviously if you don't subscribe smash that subscribe button and uh yeah click the alarm bell so you get notifications next time we put out new ton content 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 <laughs> catch you later, See you later. so we've actually we've just stopped off to Come and see Old Man River. Just oh, on the way back. Just on the way back, we're passing the lake that Old Man River's fishing at. So we thought we'd stop off and come say hello. Floyd so, needed a wee. Floyd needed a, a poo poo. So let's go have a look. What's the name of this place again? Southfield. Southfield. So a couple of lakes on Southfield. You got this one here, which is the Specimen Lake. Really, really weedy. <laughs> Hello. How are we doing? Having a nothing yet. No, how long have you been here? Uh, there's a couple up the top there. Yeah, how long have you been here? How long have I been here? Yeah. Sorry. Um, started fishing it about, must have been half past eight. Right. Okay. Um, we just saw you with the... Um... I've had a couple of runs. Oh, have you? I lost one in the weed over there. Oh, it's it really weedy, really, isn't it? Yeah. And, uh, but um, it's hard work, but you're out and you're on the bank. That's it.